You've never seen a phone quite like this before. It's the Oppo Find X, not the Find 10, the Find X. And it has a design that, well, it gives us everything we want, actually. It gives us this beautiful, beautiful curved glass back with this wonderful color tint that just stretches into dark black there and then purple at the edges. It looks fantastic and also feels great in the hand but around the front you have that gaze upon an almost bezel-less screen and no notch too it looks really superb the design of this phone just like this is way ahead of anything else we're seeing and it's really refreshing to see a manufacturer do something different and not go for the notch I don't have a particular problem with the notch, but many people do. Now Oppo's way around not using the notch, which as we know, is put there to put sensors and the camera and things, things like that in there. Well, they're doing something with the camera inside a motorized section. Now, if you're a, a newcomer to Oppo, you probably won't know that they've used motorized cameras in their fine series before except they've sort of been at the top and they've rotated round so the selfie camera becomes the rear camera and vice versa. Here, what happens is this. You push the camera button and the camera extends out of the top of the phone. There it is. And if I swipe up on the screen awkwardly, then it disappears again, which, I mean, let's be honest, it's pretty cool. Do that again from the side and up it pops. You've got the rear camera in the center here, and you've got a front camera there. And when you don't want it anymore, you swipe up the screen and it disappears. That's pretty cool. I mean, this, <laughs> you can't deny that you'd want to watch that quite often, and you're actually gonna to have to watch it quite often because it's part of the face unlock system. We've not set it up here, but when you open the phone to unlock it, um, it will swipe up and it will open the camera to record your face which sounds a little bit clunky probably is in actuality we're going to try it out in a very short while but it's one of those necessary evils that you're going to have to have if you want a module with the camera that pops out the top of the phone you can see here when we tap the button how long it takes for the camera to appear so the app is pretty much open at the same time that the module appears so you're not going to waste much time it's perhaps not quite as fast as you'd have with a regular camera app and the camera being at the top, but it's not far off and it's not irritating. It's slower to close, interestingly enough, but we don't worry about that. In terms of durability for the mechanism, Oppo says that you're gonna get about five years out of this. So chances are you're gonna have sold the phone long before you have to worry about that mechanism going wrong. You're going to want to keep the phone for a while though because there's cutting edge tech inside there's a snapdragon 845 there's eight gigabytes of ram there's 256 gigabytes of memory there's this beautiful 6.4 inch screen and it really is giant even though the phone as you can see is relatively slim and small you get my hand almost round it so it's very compact in the hand so there's plenty of power plenty of storage space Currently this runs um, Android, but it's with Oppo's version of their user interface over the top, Color OS. It's not one of the best in our previous experience. It's a little bit um, sometimes slow and there's a lot of new ways of doing things. Much of it borrowed perhaps from iOS. It's fine, but it's not ideal. However, Google has worked with Oppo on this. So you do get Google Assistant, you get Google Lens within the camera, you get a few other niceties as well. Oppo is going to release this in Europe, we're assuming. Uh, it's had a European press event for it. It's announced that France, Italy, Spain and the Netherlands will see Oppo phones for the very first time, which is really exciting. Previously they've been available in China and in various other Asian countries. The US hasn't been mentioned. We've got a price for Europe and it is a monumentally expensive 
1,000 euros. That's a lot of money for a smartphone. That's more than more than the Huawei P20 Pro. It's um, it's on the same basis as the iPhone 10, and as we all know, that's an expensive device. Is it worth it? Well, we're going to have to put it through its paces a little bit more to know for sure. But there's no denying that's an eye-catching feature. And there's no denying as well that this is an eye-catching and particularly beautiful design. The phone's going to be out in August. If you're wondering where the Lamborghini Special Edition is, Oppo is making one, amazingly. And it's a proper partnership with Lamborghini too. They've got one here at the launch event under glass, so we can't even get our hands on it. For now, you're going to have to look forward to this, the Oppo Find X. And it's really rather flashy pop-up camera. Yeah, we're going to keep doing that a lot. And we're going to put this five-year durability thing to the test very quickly indeed.